If you're out there in the Lone Star State and you are having some trouble finding cash flow properties, you ain't alone, brother or sister, right? There's this... The market's crazy, man. Like, ugh, let's go branded. Everything's expensive, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to take out a mortgage to fill up your truck. <laughs> it's out of control, dude. I just filled up my truck the other day. Literally, like, $104, I think it was. Oh, man. But that's the world we're living in, right? And I know down there in Texas, a lot of y'all, you're... uh. You're feeling the squeeze, dude. Uh, you got all those folks from California that are actually not socialists, just like fleeing Texas and then in, or fleeing California for Texas. And y'all got that like, don't California or Texas thing going. I get it, man. It's crazy, right? Uh, and on the real estate side, the market's just, just insanity, right? The prices are so high, right? So a lot of you guys who are making your money buying cash flow properties or trying to supplement your income or trying to build nice retirement nest eggs, things of that nature, right? You're not being able, you're no longer, eh, not being able, you're no longer able to find properties that hit your budget, hit your wants, hit your needs, hit your goals, right? Well, that all changes today because I specialize in helping people just like you find the best cash flow properties, the cheapest cash flow properties across the nation. Where you live don't matter, folks. We go where the deals go, and I got the boots on the ground for you. And today I got a deal, beautiful deal, I'm going to run you twenty-five grand. Let's talk. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise, and today... Today's show is from my dude, Matt. Matt Frisco, Texas, big dog. I think you're going to dig this one, player. Uh, this is a nice one, right? Uh, this is going to be a little more pricey than uh, some of the ones I just sent to you, but uh, we're running into some ugly houses, uh, and this one is just so nice, dude. Uh, this is not going to, like, knock your socks off from a crazy high cash on cash return, uh, but, dude, it is nice. You're going to put a nice, safe, solid, stable tenant in there. And the tenant base that will be attracted to the house this nice, dude, this is like a set it and forget it as much as there could be one. So I think you're going to dig it. And when I say it's not as cheap as some of the other properties, it's still friggin' cheap, dude. I know you got up to thirty grand to use this as a down payment. This one's only going to take twenty five out of your pocket, brother. Let's check it out. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. All right, folks, let's pull up this deal, man. Let's pull up the deal, y'all. Oh, boy, I like this one, dude. I really like this one. This is just like a nice, cool little house, man. Uh, it's just so nice, right? This is an owner-occupied property, right? So this is not currently tenant-occupied. These people... Uh, whose furnishings that you see uh, own the house. They will be moving out. You will be not moving in, though. You will be buying it and putting in tenants, right? But, you know, the cool thing is when you get a home like this where you get owner-occupants, right? This is like a good first-time home buyer neighborhood. You obviously get stuff that's a little bit nicer, a little bit higher end, a little bit less wear and tear, right? I know all the crazy liberals out there, they like to cry when I say stuff like that. They're like, oh, yeah, I can do judge tenants like that. Hey, bro, I don't know. Why don't you have, like, freaking 5,000 evictions or whatever the number is that I got under my belt, under your belt, and then tell me uh, if that's an unfair statement, right? More or less, people that own the home typically take a little bit better care of it when they live there than people that don't, right? If, if you want to cry, if you want to get on your keyboard and cry and say that James Wise is a bad person, say that James Wise is a slumlord for saying that, I guess uh, you could do that. That's cool. Just do that. But no that A, I think you could suck it, and B, if you want to buy a Slumlord hoodie, I got those. They're for sale. Use the promo code HWTV10. Get yourself 10% off on our Slumlord hoodie. Also, we sell shirts that say I Love Evictions. The I Love Evictions baby onesie, that's a pretty good seller, believe it or not. It's pretty funny. Think about it, right? Like, 
your wife, she's pregnant, and like she evicts the baby out of her belt. It's like a double entendre, folks. Think about it, man. Anyway, back to the property. As you can see, super nice, dude. Like when these people move out, it's more or less moving. Right. Oh man, I didn't even notice that. Check out this knife set, dude, with like the like the turquoise blue. That's pretty cool. Does this add any value to your property? No. Does this have anything to do with being a real estate investor? No. But it, I just think that's I like that, dude. I'm about to should take a I gotta show that to the wife, dude. I'm gonna get me one of them. Anyway, uh, yeah. So what I've been trying to say before I got distracted by dope knife set is, you know, we just got like a nice, nice little home here, right? Well taken care of. We're not really going to need to do anything uh, when we go in there. We're just going to put tenants in there. It's it's good. It's in great shape. Uh, you got pretty much, I don't know if it's exactly brand new, but it looks pretty darn close to being brand new for the hot water tank and the furnace, right? And by the way, uh, between the two of those, you're really going to have to replace them like four, probably like 4,700, right? Right now, 2022 pricing, probably about 3,500 for the furnace, about 12 for the hot water tank. These have a life expectancy of about 15 years. These about 30. So we're like right probably in the first like one to five years of I either of those, right? Look at the foundation here, right? Look how good and new and fresh and dry this foundation is, okay? That is a rarity, okay, in Lorraine to have foundation this fresh, this new, right? Nice little garage action. Tenant's going to put their, uh, what's it called? Uh, lawnmowers in there, right? Going to put their lawnmowers in there so they could uh, cut the grass. You don't have to pay my company to do it. Nice master. Oh, no. Super nice house, dude. This is like super low key, turnkey, right? They're asking 99. Uh, I think we need to come in at 100, dude. I think a lot of people are going to want to buy this, right? It's a seller's market all over the world. Housing shortage, uh, pricing here in this market, obviously cheaper than where a lot of people are coming from, but there's still demand. So we can't just be like, duh, that's Cleveland market. They got all my airports. Well, that's 70. No, sorry. Doesn't work that way. Gonna need to pay 100, but dude, it's nothing, right? Because we're gonna put a tenant in there for 1,000, bro. That's a cool G, that house. That's a nice house, dude. That's a cool G, right? A little two bedroom action. That's a cool G. Now, Fixed variable expense estimates after everything. I'm thinking normal, normal expectations. You'll net about six thousand. Now, note, I got you saving six hundo a year for CapEx. That's items like that furnace and the hot water I talked about that are just brand new, right? So that's a lot of money in your pocket you're not spending now that I'm not calculating as your return that you're not really gonna be spending. But I just want you to know, like eventually you're going to have to replace those, right? Like you probably in like 25 years will need to spend the money on a furnace. So I have you calculate for stuff like that. Uh, so the way the numbers are going to play out, all you got to do is put down 25K, bank kicks in 75. You're a landlord, baby. You make about a 9% return on your money. Maybe get a little appreciation action, right? This is just your cash on cash return. Don't even uh, take into account appreciation. Speaking of appreciation, no else? No else I did? Ooh. I'm going to give y'all a little, little something, something. Little something, something, folks. Guess what? Two naval bases. Two naval bases getting built over there, okay? Right in this area. Lorraine County, folks. Naval bases. What does that mean for you as investors? Is this like the blue knife set? Is this useless information? No. No, this is good information, okay? The knife set, oh, this is cool. By the way, if anybody wants to ship a knife set to Holton Wise TV for JYs, that'd be sweet. Think about it. It'd be cool. You can get our address on the website. I'll put it right here with a picture of you. I'll give you a shout out on the show. That could be you. It could be you. I don't know. Think about it. Anyway, where was I? Naval bases. Yeah, naval bases. Naval bases are big, man. The reason why uh, there's going to be like they're anticipating, I believe, like three to five thousand jobs. Okay. Uh, that doesn't even include like the construction jobs to build it. But then like permanently three to five thousand jobs. Okay. You take a small little town like Lorraine, that is big, right? So uh, I'm not a freaking genie, okay, despite some of our commercials. I'm not a genie. I can't tell the future. But what I can tell you is you should look at what's going on if you're thinking about possibly buying as an appreciation play. You take a small town that's going to have way more jobs down the road than they do now, that's, that's a good bet. Uh, is it always going to pan out that way? No, but that's a good bet, right? Think about it. By the way, fun fact, you know who the most famous person to ever come out of Lorraine, Ohio is? Jerry the 
King Lawler, folks. Also, fuck Andy Kaufman. Woo! All right, that's it. That's the show. I do like this deal, though. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.